Chicago wanted to play the end of the game to strike him out, throw him out. Yeah, well, you know, that's, uh, you know, that guy's one of the fastest guys in the game from what I hear. That's the first time I've seen him live. And I've seen him on tape, and uh, you can tell, uh, you know, just the way he sort of bounds out to first base, and, you know, we've seen some video on him. And he can run. There's no doubt that, you know, he's, he's a weapon. And <clears throat> he did a good job of keeping him close with a couple throws over. You know, the, the fastball got by Posey, and, uh, you know, with, with velocity, it was, a, it was a good pitch for Yorby to throw on, and, and Yorby, a good technique, good footwork, all that, and with a good low throw on the bag, and that uh, right down there to, you know, put the tag on. Tim Stoffer comes through for you guys in a must-win game again. Yeah, we'll start, you know, uh, Craig Stoffs pitch well all year, really. In any role that uh, we've thrust him into, he's he's delivered. You know he's been. You know, like I've said a lot about our guys in our pen. You know he's been as impactful as a lot of guys down there who, who get more acclaim. But again, you know in September, you know the last couple starts, you know popped into the rotation. Gave us four good innings uh, the other night against the Dodgers. Uh, six solid one, six solid today. You know, in a in a in a low scoring, low hit game where every pitch is critical, uh, responded. I'm very proud of him. Earned another where, where start. He's right? been the last couple of years coming off the of surgery, uh, working his way back. You know, going to the bullpen. Uh, outstanding, outstanding performance today. He'll start again. I'm sorry. He'll start again next turn. Uh, yes, he'll start uh, Thursday. Anybody out here, you know, would tell you they want to be be on the mound in a game like that. Uh, you know, playoff atmosphere, great crowd. Uh, you know, from pitch one, it was it was a high adrenaline game all around, and uh, it was a lot of fun to be a part of. And you know, fortunate, obviously, we came out on the right end of it. Hey, you've been waiting a long time to get that regular starting gig, and obviously, mm -hmm. I mean, now you're going to start to start. But he's already telling you you're mm -hmm. in there for next Thursday. But how about the feeling for preparing for such an important game? Um, you know, honestly, I try not to think too much about it. Just try to get ready, um, like any other game, any other day I've done all year. Um, and you know, going over their lineup and scouting report, and just try to keep it as simple as possible. And uh, you know, just be aggressive. And you know, it's an aggressive hitting team. We've got some really good hitters in the lineup. Just trying to throw strikes and let them put the ball in play. Obviously, a critical moment in today's ball game. Top of the second inning, the, the bases are loaded with one out. And you've got Edgar Renteria at the plate. You know, Bumgarner's in the on deck mm -hmm. circle. Could you talk about uh, the pitch? sequence in that at bat? Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, I don't remember the first pitch I threw. I remember at uh, Renneria, he, you know, popped it up, popped up a slider. Um, you know, I've had success success uh, against him throwing throwing that before and trying to maybe get him to roll over and do a double play. Um, and, uh, you know, the pitcher behind them, you know, you don't want to take that out easy either. You've seen that he can swing the bat pretty well. So I uh, just wanted to throw some strikes and I was hoping for, you know, for a ground ball. But uh, fortunately, uh, the pop up was, you know, shallow enough to, to keep him in place. You really settled in there through six innings, uh, I believe 84 pitches. Did you mm -hmm. feel like if asked, you, you could have kept rolling there? Yeah, I, mean, I felt just as strong the last inning as, as the first inning. Um, you know, other than that second inning, there wasn't really any innings where I labored too much. I got, you know, got behind a couple times, but, uh, you know, felt felt strong and felt, you know, like I was throwing pretty good pitches throughout the game. How about your battery mate, Jorge Torrealba, today? It's, uh, that's a good day right there. Good way to go out on top and, you know, big, big hit when we needed it. Probably my pitching staff. They did a really good job today. Um, it's tough for, you know, <clears throat> Obviously, we need a starting pitcher, and he stepped out for us big time today and gave us, you know, a chance to win the ball game. So I'm really proud, actually. Yeah, they, they get out. They, they get out. They get out. They get out. I mean, we got a chance to win, and we did. So. Yorvid, uh, talk about that home run. I mean, obviously, you can't intend to put one in the Petco porch, right? <laughs> Well, obviously, I know a power hitter, and then this one hit it, I thought it was going to go off the wall for a double. Um, but it's kind of a great feeling, you know. I mean, hit the ball out of ballpark, obviously, give them um, the chance for the team to win the ball, and like, we did so. Uh, your manager was talking about how, and, and uh, Heath Bell as well, how playing these one nothing games, so many of them 2-1 games, uh, really kind of sharpens this team's focus to be successful in such games. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, if you, if you watch, you know, most of our win a big close game like that, I mean, uh, the patient, I mean, I give a lot of credit to our patient staff. They, they very, they basically carrying us all year long. Um, 
and then you know, we're kind of used to it kind of a little bit already, you know, the, um, the clutch game like that. I mean, yesterday was one night and we lost, and then today, I mean, one night and we win. So, I mean, just, just seeing like, a, especially in this ballpark, you know, we always go and have uh, close games like that. Is there a more exciting way for a catcher to finish a game than strike him out the Roman? Probably not. Probably not. I mean, it's it definitely really exciting. You know, I know the guys fly. I mean, everybody was just talking about how fast he is. And then the soon we get a, a hand on the count with Posse, I just call for fast ball up and away. That way, give me a chance, you know, to hopefully throw him out like I do. So. I know it's one win and then it's one game, but just the importance of just the fact you guys hold on to first place. Well, you know, I think every game is really big, especially since San Francisco beat us the first two. I mean, that we they etched out uh, the first two games uh, for us. You know, they they uh, tied it tied it up with us, so now uh, we etched that out and we took a lead, one game lead. And I think it's really big because if we come up Sunday in a with a big win Sunday, then it basically puts them two games back and uh, puts us in the driver's seat again. Heath, uh, Buddy was just talking about how playing so many one nothing 2-1 games sharpens the team. Uh, that was a, a, a pretty See, easy. Playing, playing tight games all year, uh, when you get to playoffs and like this, because a lot of games are going to be one, two run games, are going to be tight all the way through. We're, we're used to that. We're used to playing, you know, catch up, one run down, or we're used to playing with only one run lead. So, um, yeah, it just sharpens our senses. I mean, we can go out there and we don't feel like we have to make a, good, a perfect pitch because we've done it all year. So, it's just like another game for us. Luke and, and Mike, the way that those guys are just rolling in the seventh and eighth inning. How much do you feed off of that when it's your turn? I think we feed off each other a lot. I mean, it, it, it feels like when Luke goes out there, the whole bullpen, even Joe and uh, Webby and everybody else feels like they're out there. And when they get the job done, we feel like uh, um, we're excited for the accomplishment that the bullpen did, just not what Luke has done. And for all three of us to go out there and do real well, it, it kind of means a lot to all of us down there. Yeah, you just mentioned uh, the importance of tomorrow's game. What's the confidence level knowing that your guy, Latos, is out there? Well, it's it's always confident when you got your ace out there and uh, the, the bullpen did real well and, and we didn't have to tax everybody today and stop pitched a great game today and um, you know our defense was solid so it's uh, you know we're starting to play Padre baseball again and if we do that you know we're going to end up on top. Well how about just that as a point of pride Stoffer being essentially a bullpen mate all year long. Yeah definitely it's one of those things you know every time the team gets a chance to start it feels like it's, it's bullpen day you know so one of our one of our mates that uh, we tease around that's changed because he's a starter now and he does what starters do. So uh, you know, we might kick him out of the bullpen. We might not yet. We haven't decided.